Hi there, beautiful people. I'm Jalen, and uh, in this video, we'll be talking about stuff I got that I like. I'm becoming a YouTuber more and more every day. <laughs> but um, hey, if you're you know if you're familiar with my content, you know what's up? How you doing? Tell me about today. And if you're not, get familiar. No sympathy. No love. Just just get hit to me, cause I'm cool. Yeah, like I said in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the best things that I've gotten myself this year that are related to fashion in the realm of fashion. Let's get on with that, okay? So here's number one, and that would be necklaces. So this year, I got myself three necklaces, two of which I'm wearing right now. So I'm just going to be highlighting these two. I had some criteria when it came to getting necklaces. So I wanted to accessorize more this year, right? Pretty basic goal, pretty achievable goal, right? So first of all, I wanted them in sterling silver or just silver, I guess, in general, like real silver because I didn't want my neck turning green. <laughs> like I didn't want them gold plated either because gold plated jewelry, the gold just chips away over. Like, what's going to get in gold if it's not going to stay gold, you know? Secondly, I wanted the necklaces to be more than 20 inches in length. And the reason why is because I have a pretty thick neck. Maybe long, but it is also pretty thick. So I wanted a necklace that will actually fit around my neck. I have an 18-inch necklace that I own, and it is a choker, essentially. I don't wear it, so I know... 20 inches is a good baseline for me. Also, I wanted them to be like affordable. You know, I didn't want them to be uber duper expensive, which is another reason why I didn't get gold. Um, also, just gold doesn't look good on me. I don't know if I said that already, but I do not like the look of gold on me, personally. I don't know, I tried it once because it was I had like a watch where like the case was like gold and it was black and gold. So like, that's not a hard, color combination to pull off, but it just didn't look the like, I definitely prefer silver on me than gold. I don't have to justify myself, shut up. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I was, you know, on Essence, they, they were having a sale uh, early this year, not just last week, but like a few months ago too. <laughs> They're always having a sale. But I was looking on Essence and I found three necklaces, two of which I'm wearing right now. So, uh, first of which is the Emanuele Biocchi Skull and Cross Necklace. So the reason that I got this is because I was looking at Alexander McQueen necklaces. Uh, you know, I really like the skull. I don't know, I thought it was cool. Really spoke to uh, his brand's darker aesthetic, I feel like. And it's probably the only thing I probably could afford <laughs> from the brand <laughs> other than those shoes. I like I was not gonna pay three hundred dollars for a necklace. A lot of them weren't even on sale, if I remember correctly. So they were just way out of my price range. This was a more affordable option, and I might have B-roll of me just having these necklaces. The Emanuele Biocchi Skull and Cross necklace. It looks cool to me, honestly. Like I think I would have preferred this over the McQueen necklaces, even if I did have the money to get the McQueen necklaces. But another necklace that I got was this. Vivian Westwood Eunice necklace. It's pretty short for a necklace, for me at least. I think this is the shortest necklace I've ever owned and worn because I did say I did have an 18 inch necklace. I think the reason I got it is because the orb, I do wish that it was bigger. It is definitely, like I definitely like it. Um, a lot of the bigger orbs that I saw on necklaces, they were like, jeweled bejeweled and i didn't i don't like jewels like that i don't like gemstones like that so this is a plain simple necklace with the orb logo that's cool iconography go vid but that's really all i have to say about these necklaces um they're a very good baseline uh, for me to start accessorizing so i'm happy i got them obviously or else they i wouldn't have talked about them for the last five minutes huh but uh, next accessory, this would be the last jewelry on the list, and that would be rings. All I ask for rings is that they don't turn my fingers green and that they fit me. But 
these two rings, I'm sure I might have either a picture or a b-roll. But again, we'll see how I'm feeling. These two rings that I'm wearing, they are actually more like souvenirs than anything. So the one on my middle finger right here, it's just a band with a geometric design on it. I got this while I was in Florida. We were at a surf style shop, if I'm not mistaken. Story of Florida is I'd never been to Florida and a girlfriend's mom had invited, you know, me to go down with them. And yeah, I, it's probably like one of my go-to rings. Like it's simple and cool enough. Plus I do get like a flash, like a memory of when I went to Florida with them pretty much like every time I wear it, if I like look at it like for more than two seconds, I'm like, hey, yeah, I got this in Florida. So uh, it carries happy memories. And this other one also carries happy memories for me. Uh, it's it's a dragon. Again, probably a better be rule. It's a dragon. It's cool. I got this from a ring maker, a jewelry maker, a blacksmith. I don't know exactly what to call him, but he made this ring by hand. Yeah. And uh, for a ring made by hand, this cost $65. That's a good get. But the happy memory associated with it, like the reason it's a souvenir, is because my girlfriend and I went to a festival, the Covered Bridge Festival. I guess it's like huge, but if it's so big, how come I only heard of it this year? Kind of thing. Maybe it's not cool. Maybe that's it. But yeah, I got this from the Covered Bridge Festival, Happy Memories, and uh, it was a fun time. That's really all I had to say about these accessories that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Let's get on to another form of accessories, and that would be number three, technically, but two categorically, and that would be fragrances. One second. So 2021 was the year I got into cologne. Um, I got a lot of cologne now. So I'm just going to highlight the three that I like the most. That would be Prada Carbon. I don't know if this is from the Luna Rosa line, but I don't think it is. I got this for my birthday. Um, my girl and I went out shopping and uh, I got this for myself while we were shopping. So yeah, I like Prada too. Like the whole aesthetic of Prada just looks cool, but I can't afford the clothes so this is the closest thing i can get that's how they get you to by the way and uh next we have dunhill custom honestly for what like 40 dollars a three ounce bottle it's a good get especially from like a designer cologne you know it's a designer cologne it smells like mature like musky but also like kind of sweet too i like it because it's it's exactly what i want to be <laughs> most recently as well I got myself French Waltz. I'm gonna keep it like this because I don't want it to fall out, but French Waltz by Tyler the Creator, or I guess I should say Golf Le Fleur. It is, it smells like heaven and dreams come true and kittens and uh, like smiling, smiling people. Like it smells like happiness. Like words are not doing it the justice that it deserves. It's probably my favorite scent this year. And it's strong too. Like I remember wearing it and my girlfriend, like she was like, I smelled it as soon as I opened the door. Like, Yo, what? And I remember like just sniffing my arm all day because it smelled so good when I wore it. <laughs> but um, I do have other uh, fragrances that I could show you, but I just wanted to highlight the top three because I don't want you to be here all day just looking at everything that I got. <laughs> So let's get on to the next thing that I'm glad that I got this year, and that would be the shoes. A lot of shoes. <laughs> so if you're seeing this video, my shoe collection video is already out. You know exactly what is in these boxes, probably. Um, look at the thumbnail again if you don't. <laughs> so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about them here. Just know that I am so grateful that I was able to get all of these for myself. Yeah, hard work can pay off. Just be responsible with your money. Then you can do whatever you want with it. That's my only advice. Make responsible purchases. Don't live outside your means, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm glad that these were within my means. I'm 
great. I told you I wasn't gonna go into like heavy detail. Go watch my other videos if you like. You know, go watch the other video if you haven't. Done. So let's get on to some clothes that I am so happy that I got. So next up we have plus J. Right now in the A roll, I am wearing the work jacket. If I'm not mistaken, this is the wool blend work jacket. And I will have B-roll of me and the other items that I got from Plus J. I did not just get items from her most recent collection that she just dropped a month and a half ago. But I did also pick up a couple pairs of pants that I didn't even know were Plus J. And I will have B-roll of me in them if you're not already watching it. But the Plus J collabs, they are always magnifique. I love them. I have no idea why I'm speaking in an accent, but that's just what it does to me, I guess. As you can see, I have a few things. The jacket you've already seen, but a sweatshirt, a hoodie, and pants from the collection as well. I also have a belt from the collection as well. And the fact that it's from Uniqlo means that I got it at a really good, affordable price. But also, that it's really well made and will probably last me for a few years. Uh, pretty much all of my closet is either Uniqlo or thrifted goods. <laughs> so that tells you how much I like the brand Uniqlo. Um, yeah, I just, I really love the pieces from Plus J and I could probably sleep in this right now, this jacket right now, if I were not upright. <laughs> That's all I have to say about Plus J and the pieces I got from the collection she released with Uniqlo. So let's get on to the next piece, the, yeah, the next piece that I'm really glad I got this year. And that would be this Marlboro jacket. So honestly, I am super stoked about this. It fits me kind of big, cause I think it was made in sometime in the past decade but it is a large. I usually wear extra larges because those run a little bit big even if they're not oversized on me. But this is a large size jacket, genuine leather collar, <laughs> um, and like no fading almost, like no signs of fading on the denim itself that this is made of. So it's broken in pretty well, but it definitely has a lot of life left to it. I got this on Depop for a really good price too. And this is probably one of my most worn jackets this year, despite the fact that I only got it a few months ago. But I, yeah, I love this a lot, <laughs> as you can tell by my audible excitement over it. But yeah, um, this was a steal and I'm closing. I can't, I can't not talk in my hand, I'm sorry. But yeah, this Marlboro, denim jacket was a great get for me i do have one more thing or i guess one more category of things that i am really excited that i got this year books i am um, i'm not much of a reader at all but these books right here one of them i haven't even opened yet but i'm so excited to because it's going to be informative and that's the reason why i like these books so much they're informative this one, Gods and Kings, as you can see, <laughs> I bookmarked part of it, <laughs> but Gods and Kings, this is about John Galliano and Alexander McQueen's lives. Uh, Alexander McQueen was a fashion designer. He obviously had his own brand, Alexander McQueen, that I brought up earlier, but he also was the creative director at Givenchy for a while, if I'm not mistaken. So the, book, the book in terms of Alexander McQueen is about kind of what led to his tragic death back in 2010. But uh, in terms of John Galliano, the book is pretty much what led to his downfall and his spiraling of, like, out of control. It immediately opens with why he got fired from Dior. But I'm excited to finish the book. I'm excited to start this one. And I'm excited to start the other fashion books that I didn't buy myself, but that were given to me as gifts this year. So yeah, uh, knowledge, power, and I'd like to be all powerful. I'd like to know everything. <laughs> but thank you so, so very much for sticking around to the end. Tell me, like tell me, like this is an order, you have to. You can't exit this video without telling me. 
one thing that you got yourself this year that you are super happy that you got yourself this year? Like, um, let me know, please. You don't have to like the video, but if you do, it would make me a little bit happier. And you don't have to subscribe, but if you do, I like bigger numbers. You know, make the number bigger. <laughs> and also, I just want to say thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope that the new year is treating you well. Thank you.